Good afternoon everyone, you're all very very welcome here and it's marvellous to see uh, so uh, many of you uh, uh, turning out this afternoon uh, to uh, honour uh, Mark Farn and to remember Mark Farn uh, just 12 months after after his, his, his untimely death. Now I, I think that it's fair enough to say that there's, a, there's no group of people uh, who are more used uh, to standing for uh, a minute's silence and remember, remembrance of somebody who has passed on than uh, the young men who were here this afternoon, the uh, people who play football for Derry City and people who play football for Greencastle uh, Football Club. And uh, I certainly, in, in, in my own experience, I uh, attended uh, very, very many matches in the Brandywell over the years, over almost 60 years of going to the games, and I am sure that uh, during that time that I have watched Derry City players honour maybe up to a thousand people uh, in as they stood round the centre circle in the Brandywell. Now, today uh, is a very special day, and it's a very different day. Uh, it's a lovely, lovely gesture, I think, on behalf of uh, Derry City Football Club and Greencastle Football Club to gather around Mark Farn's grave and to remember Mark as we're doing right now. Mark was special both to Greencastle, where he started out playing football, and to uh, Derry City, uh, where he played, I suppose, most of his football. He was a very special fellow. He was a very, very special player. And uh, I, I can remember being uh, uh, in the parochial house at, in Moville on a Sunday afternoon and the doorbell rang and this young man was standing at the door. Uh, he was, I suppose, a wee bit nervous, but uh, he was there to tell me that uh, he was uh, heading off that afternoon. It was a Sunday. He was heading off to... Uh, I think he was getting the boat from Larner somewhere to Liverpool, I'm not quite sure, but his father would remember it anyway, and uh, that he was going there to uh, begin a professional football career uh, with Tranmere Rovers. And uh, he, he, he learned a fair bit of his trade at Tranmere Rovers, but I think that uh, his first love was uh, back here uh, in this part of the world, and so he came back, and uh, over the years from that first sort of fearful step that he took uh, uh, when he was leaving the parochial house, uh, he turned out to be one of the most uh, respected strikers in the whole of the country 
and uh, he proved that as he set up records and scoring goals for Derry City and as he did uh, in the last year or so uh, of his playing career with Glenavon and of course uh, under uh, the uh, that with Greencastle Club uh, earlier on and today I think uh, we uh, we remember uh, Mark uh, very uh, affectionately he died just a year ago yesterday uh, as the headstone says just 33 years of age uh, he's buried here with his three little girls and uh, I think that uh, they'll have a lot of sport together uh, uh, in, 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 in the kingdom of God in heaven where they are now uh, and so gathered here at uh, Mark's graveside we commend his great soul uh, to the Lord God his loving father and uh, we're going to listen now to a very short scripture reading and I think that this reading and it's written thousands of years ago applies very very uh, exactly to Mark Farn and to the lad he was and then when we have read this short reading we'll go on to uh, recite the the, 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 the the verse of the psalm that we all know the Lord is my shepherd and uh, maybe you know uh, we'll uh, uh, that uh, for Mark might have changed a wee bit now and he might say uh, instead of the shepherd he might say the Lord is my manager because a football manager means a, a great lot to a player uh, so uh, we're going to hear this short reading from the book of wisdom the virtuous man though he die before his time will find rest Length of days is not what makes age honourable, nor number of years the true measure of life. Understanding, this is man's grey hairs, on tarnished life this is ripe old age. He has fought, sought to please God, so God has loved him. As he was leave, living among sinners, he has been taken up. He has been carried off so that evil may not warp his understanding or treachery seduce his soul. For the fascination of evil throws good things into the shade, and the whirlwind of desire corrupts the simple heart. Coming to perfection in so short a while, he achieved long life, his soul being pleasing to the Lord. He has, been ta he has taken him quickly from the wickedness around him. Yet people look on uncomprehending. It does not enter their heads that grace and mercy await the chosen of the Lord and protection his holy ones. And now uh, we recite the, the psalm together. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green in the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff, with these you give me comfort. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil, my cup is overflowing. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. And we we'll join now as we remember Mark today. We we'll pray together for the repose of his soul. And uh, we we'll thank God again for all the joy and for <coughs> all the happiness that so many people enjoyed from watching uh, such a maestro uh, perform in different football clubs. <coughs> As we remember Mark today, we pray that he may now enjoy the fullness of life with Christ in heaven. Lord, hear us. For those who still grieve for Mark, that they may be consoled. Lord, hear us. We pray that we may derive comfort and inspiration from remembering Mark this afternoon. Lord, hear us. We pray that we may realize that we are all precious to God and that he never forgets any of us. Lord, hear us. And in our minds and hearts, like so many football players over the years in the middle of a football field, we'll make our own personal prayer for Mark and for all his family.
Lord hear us. And we'll end our short little service here as we receive a blessing from God. In his great love, the God of all consolation, give man the gift of life. May he bless you with faith in the resurrection of his Son and with the hope of rising to new life. To us who are alive, may he grant forgiveness and to all who have died a place of light and peace. As you believe that Jesus rose from the dead, so may you live with him forever in joy. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. And now uh, we'll move over to another uh, department across the road to Green Castle Football Club. And I do hope that uh, we have a lot of goals this evening that might remind us uh, again of Mark and all the goals that he scored. And God bless you all. Thank you.
Five throws! Five throws! Three, three! Yeah, one more! One more! All the way out, Eddie! Travel in with the Eddie! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir!
Yes, 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 Turn! 
Yes, go! Short! 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 Short!
Come on, lads. Get us ball. Get us ball.
Lee. Well done, Lee. Good decision, Lee. Good decision. Good decision.
Yeah, no, you won. Yo, yo, yo.
Yes, 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 yes,